Hey guys, it's me, Missy with Rustic Relics, and in today's video, we're going to be working on this end table, and I'm going to paint it in drop cloth, and I'm going to use some Voodoo gel stain on the top of it. So, let's get started. So, I have this single side table, and I, it had some pretty deep scratches on the top of it, so I used my sander, and I just sanded down the top to the bare wood to get rid of the scratches that were in it and then I scuff sanded the base of the table. So I chose drop cloth, drop cloth for the base of this table and I'm just going to go through and give it two coats. I'm using my Dixie Belle oval paintbrush I believe and you can see that the legs of the table are really round and they have the detail at the top and then you can see the detail that's like that rope detail that goes all the way around. Um, for that, I just really paid close attention to making sure that I dabbed my paintbrush into all of those areas and then smoothing it out afterwards. And then for the legs, I like to go in like a circular motion, like go around the legs instead of going up and down. I feel like that kind of prevents the brush strokes and that way you don't have to go through and kind of sand those down. I did sand this piece um, in between my two coats so that way it has a nice good smooth finish. I just used rad pads and um, I believe it was just the very fine one and I just you know to smooth out the paint job in between the two coats. So I did a coat of paint, I let it dry, I just used my rad pad, sanded it smooth and then I came through with my second coat and um, after that dried, I did those very fine rad pad in it too to make sure that it was nice and buttery smooth. That's one of my things I, I don't like when painting furniture with chalk paint and it having that like texture afterwards. I like to make sure that I sand my down, sand it down so that way it's nice and smooth. So after I get done with the two coats of paint and the sanding well there's cammy <laughs> she's our corgi she's one of our four dogs um but she is the nosiest dog so she's always checking to see what we're doing but after i get done doing the two coats of paint and the sanding and everything i went back and forth with do i want to distress this table or not but i chose not to because i thought that it looked it just had such a classy look to it but I really liked the wood grain of the top, so I'm going to use Voodoo Gel Stain, and I believe this is Tobacco Road. This is the first time I've ever used this kind of stain, so it was definitely a learning experience, but it's a water-based gel stain, so it's really easy to clean up. And what I did is I used my gator sponge, and I just dipped it into the Voodoo Gel Stain, and then I sponged it onto the top of the table. Um, I did mess up in a few spots, you know, not not making sure that I went all the way to the edges and stuff like that, but I come through with a towel that I just wet down with some water and I kind of like wiped it back. So I really use this gel stain as more of a glaze than a wash, uh, than a stain, I guess you can say. But I was really happy with how it turned out because it really did let the detail that is in the top of that um, end table, it really let that stand out and I like how it just had that that washed look on the top, if that makes sense. But the gel stain does dry fast so you kind of work fast with it, but you want to wait at least 30 minutes in between applying coats. Um, I kind of learned that afterwards. <laughs> But again, it was a lot of fun working with this table and working with the Voodoo Gel Stain and I definitely do want to experiment with it some more. And it because the colors are so pretty. I'm really happy with how this turned out and I did seal this table up with two coats of flat clear coat. Alright guys, so that's our table. Um, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.